guys and welcome back to Mind Your Bap. My name is Sarah and today we are starting another brand new series on Mind Your Bap, Mind Your Bap on the ground. This series here is going to take you through the keyhole for some of our local groups supporting mental health and first up is the Atlas Centre. If you don't know where the Atlas Centre is, it is located on Bridge Street right opposite the train station and I'm going to flash up their address right now for you so you can check it out if you want. With all that being said, let's take a look inside and have a little bit of a high speed tour. Let's go. Good to see you. 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 So, um, yep, so that movie this morning. That this yeah. one closed over. Okay, and then yes. we've got yes. two, two different rooms. So, tonight there will be men's mental health in that room, yes. and there will be women's mental health in this room, okay. and there will be um, art therapy for children in the crash downstairs. Fabulous artwork, yes. but it's also looking into history. Yes. Well, so this was, um, again, I think this was Good Relations, mm -hmm. um, Lisbon City Council Women's History Project. So that actually was a Good Relations project. Okay, so into the cafe now. Okay. Um, so the, the, the place is now finished. It's registered for 20 children. Now that you've had a little bit of a feel of the place and a bit of a high speed tour, I know what you're thinking. It might have a small shop front but it seems to go on and on and on. You've probably now seen that Marty, Robbie and I have just ended up in the crash and it's here we decided to have our main view of Gay. Let's have a look at how Atlas got its name and how the building itself has had a little bit of a transformation. Let's look at this. Hi guys, um, hi Marty. I'm Robbie. I'm Gay. And together we are Mind Your Bob. Mind Your Bob. Mind Your Bob on the move. And um, we're in here today with um, Gay and the Atlas Center, just to show you a bit more about that. Put you in the spot here, do you know what Atlas stands for? I've been told, but I've got the uh, memory yes. of Dory the Fish. So, <laughs> Atlas remember. Adult training, learning, learning and support. That's yeah. what I was going to say. Yes. So that's, and, and it was, whenever I started it was, it uh, was Lisburn Women's Center. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think it was around about 2002. What had happened mm -hmm. was there was women actually didn't think that the, they could attend the centre. Yes. Yeah. Um, and there was at that stage then there was a lot of uh, women were saying that there was men that needed some support as well. Mm -hmm. So we, we, we knew that then that uh, the name was sort of causing a barrier, yeah. which is something that we want to remove. And then a lot of word storming um, going on then. I was a volunteer at the time, and it was um, what do we do? Adult training, support, learning. So that's where Alice came from. Yeah, I was in this building before it was updated and then renovated. And but it feels, it's it feels good. good, and you want to touch stuff. Yeah. Actually, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's very homely. It's therapeutic. It feels yeah. it's a lovely environment. Yeah. Oh, it is. It's the comments we have we have heard from we moved back into the the new building mm. as we call it is uh, oh we're back home yeah. and um, oh my goodness the home it's, it just makes you smile and honestly every day i see people walking in and they're they are they're, they're, they're just the mood changes mm -hmm. yeah. you know and they're happy and they say look this place just brings out the best and it just makes you smile yeah. and it is mm -hmm. to do with the building yeah mm -hmm. but it's a lot it's, it's, this isn't just a building, it really isn't. There's just something about the atmosphere and the people that come into it. You know, it just breeds real good mood. Iconically, it's across the road from the train station. So literally, if you're from Lisburn or the environment of Lisburn, you'll know where the train station is. Yeah. It's literally across the road from the train station. So predominantly, people that come in here may be from the Lisburn area. However, yeah. if yeah. you were outside the Lisburn area, if you're coming from Lurgan Porter Down, from Belfast, mm -hmm. through to Murray, it's absolutely ideally located it i is. mean that's for people so if you didn't want to park a car yes. or you you know or, or the bus stop across the road yeah i mean it's so accessible and yeah. um, but as you say we get a lot of people yeah. that um that even just get the train to come into the cafe yeah you know because oh. the cafe i mean you can get a, you can get a cup of coffee or a cup of tea and a biscuit or a scone whatever's on that day yeah. for a pound but exactly and i think as well it's just good if anybody is thinking about coming down we may be a wee bit nervous 
Um, if they came down, maybe had a coffee and just sort of sussed the place out in their own mind. Good idea, man. It's a brilliant idea, I think, and it, that'd be good for me personally. Yeah. Coming in, it's very always very warm, and anytime you come in, you're greeted with a smile. So anybody out there say wants to suss the place out in a sense, then then come ahead and grab a wee coffee and see what you think. So now that you know a little bit more about Atlas and the building and what they represent, you're probably wondering what on earth do these group of people do? So why don't we take a look at a typical week here in the Atlas Centre? Let's look at this. I think it's really, really important. Okay, so if we if we were say to give you like two minutes to give us what a week looks like here, if you just even I'll tell you why, so that we can share with people what is available and so yep. what does yep. Atlas provide from a Monday to a Saturday? Um, on a Monday morning there would be arts and crafts. However, there's about 35 possibly can go to it now, so unfortunately it is full. Mm -hmm. um, but downstairs then we would have, um, it's like a, it, it, it's a roll on, roll off, but it's, it's a promotion of confidence building, self esteem, okay. um, and this one specifically for women. So that is building sort of your, your inner strength, yeah. you know, to be the better you as such, mm -hmm. and to gain the confidence to be that person. Yeah. Um, and then in another room, then we would have, um, I think it's uh, English. Then on a Tuesday, we would have the breastfeeding support group, which is up on the roof as well, which is Important. absolutely fantastic. Yeah, yeah. Open yeah. Um, to, to any woman to come on, right. on a Tuesday um, as breastfeeding. Um, on the end of the afternoon, there's Irish history, okay. which right. has been going on for, oh my goodness, probably about 10, 10 years. Well, no, history, history's been going longer than that. <laughs> <laughs> like in the I could actually tell you from where that started, so funny. <laughs> and there's probably about 30 go to it now, so, there is, wow. so we have to open up the, okay, the, yeah. the two rooms. Right? Um, on a Tuesday night, then there is um, the mindfulness, there's mm -hmm. the children's um, art therapy. For Wednesday then there is, there's English Mads ICT. Yes. Right. Um, there is also then the uh, kick fit for women, mm -hmm. the um, self-defense, the men's mental health, the women's mental health, the ukulele. On um, Thursday then what else, there's another confidence belt and it's on mm -hmm. Thursday. There's actually, surely we do uh, painting, painting the confidence. Oh. And a lot of the, the paintings that are out in the cafe or, or around the building then would be with would be would be created by the people who come into the yeah. centre basically. Um, on a Friday then we would have Steps to Excellence. Okay. Um, which again is like another that. personal professional sort of uh, development program yeah, okay. and then we would have a sewing, sewing club as well with about 30 people we'll get to. Now that you've heard what the Atlas Centre gets up to in a typical week, I am also going to flash up their social handles. So I'm going to flash up their Facebook page, their website and you can take a look over there and get more of an extensive view of what they do week to week. It does change all the time. So if there's anything that tickles your fancy, you better hop over to their page because I know that their spaces do pick up really, really fast. Now Gay has also very kindly emailed me Atlas's April schedule so I'm going to flash that up on the screen here too just for a few seconds so you can pause this video and take a look at that as well but if you want a little bit more of an in-depth view remember just head over to their website. Now that you know the Atlas Centre is incredibly busy and even we were filming the place was jam-packed obviously to keep things running smoothly they have an amazing team so let's learn a little bit more about the team here in Atlas. Any establishment Gay, whether it's business, whether it's um, charity, third sector, whether it's um, public sector relies on the most important resource which is staff. Um, and I'm going to ask you maybe just to, to mention um, the names of the people who work here and, the, and as a very short synopsis of the role that they play. Start for myself, so um, I'm the centre manager. I started 18 years ago, um, I started off as a volunteer, so we hear this. Um, Mandy is finance, mm -hmm. um, Mandy's here over 10 years, she started as a volunteer. Mm -hmm. Gillian is front of house receptionist, um, project manager, creation administrator, um, um, Gillian with a bit, the beautiful smile. Yes, indeed. Yep. Yeah. And uh, Gillian again is over ten years. Mm -hmm. Started as a volunteer. Right. Um, so then we moved mm -hmm. downstairs, and in the cafe, then there's Moy, Dorothy, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. started as a volunteer because she would have helped me in the crash uh, yes. whenever we were at the Bridge Community Centre. Yeah. Moy help us, and uh, please check and all that, of course. Um, <laughs> Moy has been. Um, gosh, has been here probably up to fifteen years or whatever. Wow. Um, Colette also started as a volunteer who works in the cafe mm -hmm. and who's been here over 10 years. Flo has been here about three years or so, started as a volunteer mm -hmm. and then work placement um, and then we move into the creche and we have Michelle who's creche leader yeah. and cre um, Michelle been here for four or five years. Then we have Alana yeah. and, we, and we have Emma as well and we have Kim who volunteers in the crash too and we have Lucy who volunteers in the crash as well. Wow. So um, it, it, even you know it's it is a small team really for because you think about it there's there's over 1300 people attend 
and benefit from courses in here yeah. a year. Now that's not talking about the people that come in for advice or people that come into the cafe. Or a sausage, sausage yeah. sonny. That was you. I got the stew. <laughs> <laughs> With brown sauce. <laughs> Lots of brown sauce. But there's many volunteers as well. Yeah. And there's that many I honestly wouldn't even want to name because yes. I wouldn't want anybody I wouldn't no. want anybody to be left out. And yeah. we're, we're we're governed by um, a board of directors. Now that you're caught up to speed here at the team here at Atlas, if you're on our Facebook page you'll know this little interview was filmed over the course of two days. So we're now going to take a little look at some of the things that Atlas has been awarded for and achieved over the years because Atlas has been around for a while and they have achieved some amazing things. So let's take a look at the little interview. Well, I think we should start off with Charity Worker of the Year because she will not. Charity Worker of the Year? Absolutely. Yeah. It is. I'm on Charity Worker of the Year. How long have you so worked there? in 2015 yeah um that was with the ulster star yeah um, <laughs> okay. fabulous couldn't believe it really yep. don't think a table could believe it ever at all there was some roaring and shouting and indeed. squealing yep. and whistling yep then without a doubt yeah so i think that's obviously for with working with atlas for so many years well, so, well i mean you started off as a volunteer didn't you when was that back I in 2000 and 2000. Well, it was 18 years ago because yeah, yeah, I was about 18 years ago. I started off as a volunteer working in the crash, and you started off as a volunteer working I in did the reception. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, uh huh. And uh, the sure. majority of the staff have Jillian, Jillian has Flo, yeah, Colette, Colette. absolutely, your mom. Yeah, so Dorothy. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. So that's it. Whenever, whenever, when there's two ways, look at it. Whenever you get in, you don't get out, or whenever yeah. you, when you don't want to leave. It's a life sentence. Yeah. which is a good life sentence. <laughs> and then, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and obviously, you know, a lot of the the participants feel the same. Well, at the end of the day, as if you look at the quotes, you know, it's like one big happy family, yeah, one big happy home. It is, yeah. You know, yeah. it's great. And when we moved out that time, what were the same? It's like going through a divorce. Oh, gosh, because yeah, there yeah, was yeah. didn't know where they were here and there and everything. That's right. Yeah, uh -huh. yeah. And then everybody just coming back together again and in a new and a new um, happy, happy, warm, yeah, inviting home with yeah. a lift, yeah. So, so this award yeah. was 2015? Sorry, so this award was uh, 2015 and yep that was uh, the Ulster Star um, People of the Year Award um, and I won the Charity Worker of the Year Award. Yeah. Well done. So well done. Really exciting. Yeah, well done indeed. Yeah. 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 So Good work. Gear works tirelessly for Atlas, I would say, um, without a doubt. Yeah, and her husband do. can testify <laughs> about it oh, many times when she's supposed to be out. Think maybe about having it. lunch or yeah. something with her husband and she's still at Atlas five hours yeah. later. Yeah. Think it better go to one of the uh, time management classes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Some yeah. of these days, yeah. But it is, it, it is, it's not like a job, is it? It's not you like know, a job. You, you kind of, That's you did put your whole yeah. life and soul into yeah. it. Some definitely job satisfaction. And this one then? Yes, this teardrop shape award, what is it for? And when did you get this? This one this was the two thousand nine Pride of Place Award. Yes. So that's this right, was yeah. this yep. was a um um All Ireland Award. And uh, again we were absolutely thrilled and surprised um uh, to win it, however very well deserved I must admit. So that was in 2009. 2009. Yeah, and we were actually in Sloan Street premises mm -hmm. at yep. the time. Yeah. Um, because the. Um, can I ask you to hold it so we can get a better view? Yep. That would be lovely. Thank you very much. Yay! <laughs> it's like winning all over again, isn't it? <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, that was Cooperation Ireland. So that was that one, yeah. And that one. That was the, the MERS Community Award um, 2018 and we didn't get to that one Mandy no, and, and, and we won yes, and we won yes, yeah. um, so we weren't able to uh, celebrate on stage with the rest of them but brilliant um, Gillian and a few of the directors went yeah. so that was Community Impact Award winner um, and that is groups um, in the community and voluntary sector that really do make a significant difference to people's lives which is, uh, we're very proud to say that we definitely do. Yeah, definitely, without a doubt. Thank you very much, ladies. So can I just ask a few little questions? Um, now, how many members of your team you have? Because you have a big team, don't you, here? We have that big, yeah. to be honest. There's eight of us. Eight of you. Um, and four full-time, four part-time. So for what we do and what we achieve, it's not that big a 
bigger group um, team members but I think the key is that we all work together as a team absolutely yeah. you know um, and we the all volunteers. work well together yeah, yeah. and a lot of volunteers, so many volunteers do help yeah. at a time yeah how many is on the books now at the minute? Volunteers. So 27? About 27 oh, volunteers. That's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. And all different departments. So there'll be a few in the creche, there will be some in the cafe, um, front of house, um, in reception, and a lot of volunteers that would um, sort of create a lot of the arts and the crafts and the paintings. And then they would go out and talk about apples and sell, sell their, their products at uh, different times of the year then to raise funds. And we have a lot of volunteers in waiting for when we develop our urban garden. Yes. Um, so we do have a lot of volunteers who are willing to get hands on, a bit of yeah. DIY, a bit of gardening. Yeah. And this was a lot of this was, was, um, was created by volunteers. Um, and this lovely little area we're set yeah, at the moment. Um, Absolutely. And um, plant in the, in the cafe did a lot of it in her own time and then brought in some volunteers um, to help her out. So it really is absolutely, it is so therapeutic. And look on a day like this, coming yeah. at this time of year, absolutely. you know, it's, it's going to be, it's going to just going to be another great facility, you know, for, for people to come, come to in Lisbon. So guys, that concludes our first episode of Mind Your Bath on the Ground featuring Atlas. Honestly, I feel like we could have filmed there for a week and we've only just scratched the surface of what these folks do. I really hope you enjoyed this episode. Do check out their socials. I'm going to flash them up on the screen again for you and head over to Atlas and say hi. I, I know they'd really appreciate it. Now, we do have some thank yous I need to say. And um, first one is Gay. Thank you so much for being an absolute trooper. Thank you for letting me film for two days. They are so busy. I did not want to cause too much disruption, but she was an absolute absolute legend and organised some consent forms that's why we got some nice clips of the kids playing in the crash as well as the ladies in their art group so thank you so so much for that as well as that a huge thank you to the rest of the team of Atlas I'm going to flash up a lovely photograph of their entire team for you now as well as that I want to say a little thank you to one of my friends Robert for holding my second camera for having some nice dual perspective during our interviews I have a huge list of people I need to thank but those people just really stuck out in my mind so thank you so so much now if you are an organisation or a charity in the local Lisburn area or just the surrounding area and you want to be featured in this series please drop us a comment or contact us via our business email Robbie, Marty and I are incredibly busy and we have a lot of people to get to just to let you know we do not want to leave anybody out. Now with all that being said I really hope you enjoyed this episode but before you click off this video don't forget to also say hi to us over on our Facebook page, Twitter. You guys already know the drill. You're absolutely fantastic guys. So just thank you so much for your continued support. Anyway guys we'll see you very soon and I hope you enjoyed this episode. Bye!